What's going on, everybody? TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Um, the crow's out. It's been 30 years since the original crow graced us in theaters with Brandon Lee starring. I know that movie was the final movie of Brandon Lee's career as a tragic accident happened, lost his life. And I know there's been other actors that have portrayed Eric Draven. Uh, there's been other actors to star in projects of The Crow. I know there was, a, what, one or two movies after the original. I know there was a TV show for a short time. But fast forward now, 30 years later, and we have a new version of The Crow starring Bill Sarsgaard. Now, <laughs> I know this trailer dropped five months ago. And when I saw it then, I was like, eh, why? Why does Hollywood keep doing this? They, they do this over and over and over again. They recycle, 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 reimagine for the modern audience. And in Lionsgate, what you should have done here is it would have been money well spent to do a 30th anniversary re-release of the original Crow. I mean, it's a, it's a classic movie. It was fine as it was. We didn't have to go back to the well again and remake a classic. Not only that, but Eric Sarsgaard, he looks like a ripoff from the Joker and the Suicide Squad. Guys, remember that? So here we have um, from Variety, box office blink twice makes 820K in previews. The Crow has $650,000 in previews. So that was what came in Thursday. Ouch. Now granted, I think it was like 2,500 theaters. But th this is, this is not good. Especially when you look at Rotten Tomatoes, all critics, 19%. Top critics, 5%. Ouch. I mean, this is, this is border and even borderlands. Well, I guess borderlands is still what we could say the worst movie of 2024 as far as the, the reviews go. I mean, it's still sitting at 10% for all critics, 3% for top critics, verified audience, all audience. I mean, it's just, it's a race to the bottom folks. That's what this is. Now I looked up for the budget for the crow and it's got a $50 million budget. So we'll just call it another 50 million for marketing advertising. So hundred million, this movie's not making its budget back at all. I would be shocked if this movie had a breakout weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to see what the numbers are come Monday. And just to get a little bit of a taste, I'm not going to get into the critics reviews so much, but I'm going to pick a, uh, I've picked a few people out here over on X. Shay Hartley, the crow hashtag, the crow should have been left alone. Brandon Lee died making the 1994 film and it just feels wrong to have it remade. The original should have been released nationwide for the 30th anniversary instead of doing something different, some different version of Eric Draven's story. Yeah, exactly. My sentiment. Do a 30th anniversary release. Do a, do a 30th anniversary 4K digital release or Blu-ray 4K release. Not this. Casey Lene. I'm sorry, but no, I refuse to give hashtag the crow a chance to be honest. 
You can't replace Brandon Lee, and this guy looks gay. Yeah, he looks like a poor man's joker. I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Poor man's joker. Uh, Vex Electronica says, I'm not an official critic. Hashtag the crow is almost on par with Borderlands for being one of the worst adaptations of 2024. Maybe of the decade. The protagonists have been made into hardcore degenerates and lack all of the depth and soul that made the crow beloved film comic. Eric Draven's an inconsistent wuss for most of the film and takes a backseat to Shelley's new backstory for the first 40 minutes. The lore reinvention is sloppy, silly, and explained only through exposition dumps in between genuinely horrendous editing, pacing, and performances, of which I didn't think Bill Sarsgaard was capable of. As both an adaptation and a standalone film, I don't recommend this at all, 1 out of 10. Ouch. This is from KTR. Ouch, he says, sitting in the theater lobby. Hashtag the crow. We've got Vulture, the Crow 2024 review, a movie for goth incompetence. The Guardian, the Crow review, unfathomably awful goth remake. New York Times, resurrected and it feels so bad. <laughs> Superhero hype, someone take this dream away. The Hollywood Reporter, Bill Skarsgård's laborious reboot scarcely improves on the original disposable sequels. And the last one, Collider, the Crow Review, Bill Skarsgård's leads the emo Gen Z melodrama of my dreams. Oh, man. I mean, this is, th this movie should have never seen the light of day. It should have been re-released as a 30th anniversary edition. I know I've said it twice now, but I'm going to say it again. 30th anniversary edition. Hollywood, stop the remakes. Please come up with something new. Please, this year's been nothing but sequels and remakes and prequels. Granted, I know there was a strike last year, which pushed a lot of these projects back to this year, but man. So there you have it. You guys going to go see The Crow? I might have to watch the original later or maybe tomorrow. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. You going to go see it or are you just going to say pass? I suggest watching the original. Find it. Watch it. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.